Hello and welcome to your latest daily energy report. I'm Ben Lack. Smith Electric Vehicles has unveiled the nation's first all-electric zero-emission Newton e-trans. The vehicle debuted at the National Association for Pupil Transportation's annual summit in Cincinnati, Ohio. The 42-passenger Newton e-trans travels up to 120 miles on a single charge at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour which is ideal for the fixed routes and urban areas most school buses take each day. The bus utilizes Smith Power using the latest in lithium-ion battery technology and regenerative braking technology that will transfer energy from the brakes to the batteries when the vehicle is in operation. The Newton e-trans is available for order and will be shipped in early of next year. Sun Valley Solar has signed a 39 kilowatt commercial solar installation contract for a company in Valencia, California. Construction on the project is expected to begin later this year. The solar power system uses high efficiency solar panels from CEEG Shanghai Solar Science and Technology and a solar inverter from PV Powered. The contract is supported by solar incentive rebates from the local utility company and from federal tax cash grants from the Federal Treasury Department. Suez Energy Resources will donate renewable energy certificates to match 100% of the New England Aquarium's estimated annual electricity usage. The Green E Certified Rex will displace the estimated annual greenhouse gas emissions of 1,083 passenger vehicles, 1,924 tons of waste diverted from landfills, and the carbon dioxide emissions from the total energy usage of 469 households. Finally, Vestas Wind Systems will use IBM Big Data Analytics software and powerful IBM systems to improve wind turbine placement for optimal energy output. Turbine placement is a major challenge for the renewable energy industry, and Vestas expects to accelerate the adoption of wind energy internationally and expand its business into new markets by overcoming this challenge. Vestas is addressing the issue of turbine placement by using IBM Big Insight software and an IBM Firestorm supercomputer to analyze petabytes of structured and unstructured data such as weather reports, tidal phases, geospatial and sensor data, satellite images, deforestation maps, and weather modeling research to pinpoint installation. The analysis, which is used to take weeks, can now be done in less than one hour. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Have a great day.